on guys, thanks for tuning back here at JWTV and today I'm bringing you the first of two or three installments of today depending on how today goes. So, the first one is just a general shocking transfer, you guys know it works, if you don't by now then this is how it works. We take a player who is involved in between a club or two, we discuss the most likely club who is going to join and we discuss certain traits of the player such as honours, game time, leagues, uh, where he can play, what he can offer to the new club, is it a tougher league and for this player it is a tougher league he's going to, it is that Liverpool FC have made Liverpool, Liverpool have made a reported bid of 50 million euros to sign the Inter Milan defensive midfielder slash defender Gary Medell. 50 million pound, 50 million euros is about 12 million pounds. So, for me as a Liverpool fan, I think that's a bargain. I am, if I was Jurgen Klopp, I'd be happy to do that because Liverpool's defence is something that definitely needs strengthened. We need a fullback. We need to get rid of Moreno. I used to like Moreno. I think I still do. I think he's still he's a young, talented player who can still come up. But I think we need like what we're looking for now. We need a bit of experience. Gary Mattel is 29. He knows the in and outs of defence. He's strong. He can defend. He plays both positions. And he can lead that defence. We need that with our fullbacks. Klein's very young, yes, but, but he's good. We need someone like a... Well... And as Piliqueta, if you would, I mean, as Piliqueta's a good defender, we need a Monreal. Despite Monreal, some of you may not think he's very quick. I'm personally not keen on Monreal, but then again, he's experienced, he can defend, he's good. Moreno's a bit of a liability, like Skirtle was at times. But anyway, slight diversion, let's get back on the focus. Gary Medell, first we'll start off with honours and traits and what he can bring and then we'll go on to potential lineups and how Jurgen Klopp and the Liverpool team can mix the lineups up if you wanted to play Cham Klopp uh, further up the pitch or Lucas back. We, we can suss that out but first let's talk about the certain honours he's won. So Gary Medell, as far as I know, he hasn't won any club traits such as Inter Milan. Or his other teams he's been with, I forgot who he's been with now. But he has won many international honours. He's won the Copa America twice in 2015 and 2016. He's won the Copa America Centenario. Yes, got it right first time in 2016. He's won the Copa America Team of the Tournament in 2015-2016. And a couple more, but the big ones are the Copa America bits. So they... That proves he's won the Copa America 2015-16, the Copa Centar Centenario in 2016, and the team in the tournament in 2015-16. That proves he's a very talented player. He's capable of playing. He's proven on an international level. He's proven that he can get pits. He's proven that he's a solid defender, a solid back line of choice, and a solid leader. He can lead the defence. Well, these honours don't suggest it, but judging what he's won and his style of play and how on form he is, he can lead, that's, he can lead that defence. So, let's start off with traits. First off, I think you've got to admit he's strong and he can defend and he can lead. He's strong, which helps, he can defend, which is obviously what we are, your defensive midfielder and centre-back. And I, I think, this is my opinion, guys, remember these videos are my opinion, you have yours, I have mine. But I think Gary Medell is a leader of men and I do like him. I do like Medell. He was at Cardiff, he's gone to Inter Milan, fair play, bigger, better club. Now he's going to an even bigger, better club in a tougher league. And if he can prove on that, I think that'll be a lot better. And this is where we come on to the next part, which is potential lineups and possibilities Jurgen Klopp has. So our defence and defence midfielders, uh, we have a lot. We have Lucas, Emre Chan is a defence mid midfielder by choice, but he can play centre-back. That's the main reason why I'll get onto in a minute. We've got Skirtle, Claver, Moreno, Klein. Oh no, Lucas has left, sorry, hasn't he? I think Lucas has left. Alan has definitely left. I think Lucas has, I'm not entirely sure. But the main one is the Chan Medal situation. I know it's only two players, but if you wanted Moreno, if you wanted your back line to be Moreno, Skirtle, Medal, and Klein, we can then format format that by playing Medell at centre back where he can play and push Chan further up the pitch and put him in defensive midfield where he can still go on he can still make them runs because Chan is a very young player or Chan is one of my favourite players in that Liverpool team 
alongside storage and mana, one album, etc. But I like Chan. If he goes up further up that pitch and still helps out, I think he can become a very promising player and playing an aspect of all divisions. Whereas Madal, he's more experienced than Chan. He's probably a better defender than Chan overall. So I think having him and... Oh no, shit, Skirtle's gone. Sorry, guys. I just remembered Skirtle's gone to find a batch for 5 million. So, Moreno, Clavin, Medal, and Clive. Sorry, guys. My bad. I take fault for that one. I should have known. But Medal, he's more experienced than Chan. He's a better defender. So, having him in that centre-back with Clavin, two very experienced defenders, two very strong players... Uh, they could probably both lead the defence, both captain the back line, and the goalkeeper can then lead his defence from that. But if you bring Medell and Clavin back in that centre-back role, bit of experience, bit of strength, bit of defensive quality in there, and push Chan further up the pitch to help out the likes of Coutinho, Firmino, Mane, Wijnaldum, I think Liverpool could be... I, th I think this year Liverpool will be a contender for top four. I think this year... I have that strong opinions on them that they can be a tenter, contender for top four and win Champions League football. So, that is the main aspect of this video. We have discussed the honours he's had, what he can bring, how he can lead the back line and possibilities with the lineup. So, that is the first video of today, guys. I will be looking to bring out the Hammers situation later. Apparently, Chelsea have made like a £78 million bid for Hammers Rodriguez or Arslav. So, if you guys want to want to see that drop this video a like subscribe to not miss the latest football content it's all down below in the description and until later guys i'll see you later